So coming up now, we're going to have a really fascinating panel called Green and Latino, and we're going to have our own Hannah Doris uh, moderating the panel. We will be having David Escobar, who is a well-respected community advocate and an aide to Marin Supervisor Steve Kinsey. He's a leader in the Green Latino and Native and movements, including local efforts with the Green Promotoras and co-founding Vivan de Verde. He teaches Indigenous Studies at Dominican University. We also have Betsy Bueno, and she's a Green Promotore with extensive environmental training. She's won numerous awards for being one of the first youth activists to fight for the right of young people to be aware of the DREAM Act. She was also invited to attend the first inaugural of President Barack Obama in Washington, Washington D.C. and she's engaged really to get married and painting a green so wedding. You gotta stand up and jump. Irving Magellan is a green promoter and co-founder of Vende Verde. Yeah, hey, you guys the bagels, campaign. Bagels he assisted and in bread. organizing the first Latino really Indigenous that. Green Summit and participates in ecological training as a green promoter. He works as a head soccer referee in the city of San Rafael, and he offers his time as a translator at Venetia Valley School. We want to welcome these three wonderful representatives of the Green and Latino Movement. We see here we're getting our, our, our mics already, so welcome, welcome. Thank you, Robin Carpenter. You can hear her food and farm show reporting KWMR. And we're so honored that Vivian De Verde is here. I'm just going to make a real quick announcement and let you know that Jasmine Nelson is somebody who took action about taking the bus to school, and she is the winner of our next raffle prize. Can you tell me what the prize is? Is Jasmine here? We're going to put the raffle winners up on a slide, and you're going to have an opportunity to claim your prizes before we recycle them and give them to somebody else. And our prize is... This is a bag that used to be plastic bottles from Kids Can Serve. What's in it? I think there might be something in there. Oh, cool, reusable containers for your lunch. This is perfect. Well, I hope we'll find Jasmine and she can take it on her bus to school when she's doing her action. So um, I wanted to just let you know that, uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to have Vivian Doverde uh, now, but I wanted to tell you, I'm sorry, there's one other thing I need to say. Is there anybody still in the room that signed up for Resilient Neighborhoods? Can you raise your hand if anybody's still here? Okay, so if you signed up for Resilient Neighborhoods, please go and see these wonderful students from Redwood High School, and you may take your choice of a chocolate bar or t-shirt. Thank you for your participation, we really appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much, David, Betsy, Irving. Yeah, good, uh, good afternoon. What a great day uh, to uh, be here on Earth Day. Uh, again, my name is David Escobar, and um, I'd like to first start off with uh, a traditional song that comes from the eastern portion of, of El Salvador. Um, and this is a Mother Earth song. <laughs> going back and forth as I go every year uh, to 
see my go back to, to my grandmother's villages is um, was a directive from one of the elders that said that the winds that they um, that are hitting our faces is what they said have changed. Um, so they're they're able to actually to um, a certain degree calculate wind and they said when you go back there to Northern California, tell the people up there, our brothers and sisters up there, that things have changed and that there's an opportunity to make changes in the lives of our uh, compatriots up in, in uh, the United States. So with that, um, I brought that message to uh, the canal and started talking to folks in the community about climate change and the impact that um, um, Western industrial, um, um, uh, Western industries are doing to, to, uh, to the earth. And so that's the message that I'm bringing in here today. Um, once that started, the community in the canal began to look at things a little differently and the leadership started um, sprouting up those that wanted to actually take action with regards to being more sustainable in the Spanish-speaking community. Um, uh, as of um, late, the Pew, Research for Hispanic, uh, the Pew Research Hispanic Center calculates that there's about 14.1 million Latinos living in California. Um, and uh, out of that population, 5.9 5 million are registered voters. In Texas, there's 4.2 million registered voters. Um, according to the Sierra Club poll back in 2012, 43% of Latinos say that they live in an area where there's, um, there's toxicity, um, where they live. 83% of Latinos in that poll favored um, uh, moving from coal plants to more clean energy resources. And in another poll from the California Tolkien Research uh, Fund said that two-thirds of Latino voters uh, considered themselves conservationists, and while 90% of them believe that they can actually change the environment and create more green jobs. So it says a lot about um, the, uh, the mindset that Latinos are having now uh, in what is considered the green movement. For a long time, um, um, there hasn't, if you, if you look at um, today's events, we're the only Spanish-speaking um, organization that's here. And actually, we're the, I think this is the first time that um, uh, Green Earth, uh, Earth Day Marin had a, a Spanish-speaking um, organization participate. So um, we're really elated about that and really, really happy. Um, so that's how Viviendo Verde Ya um, started. As a result of, 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 um, of this movement, the Vivienda Verde now um, movement is now um, in East Palo Alto. There's a whole contingent of green promoters in East Palo Alto. There's green promoters in Pittsburgh and, of course, here in Marin County. It's a grassroots effort of people, uh, um, ordinary people doing extraordinary things in, in the community. As the elders have indicated to me, this is, um, we need as, hum as people, this whole thing that we call green is really going back to our ancestral ways. At some point on this planet, all over this planet, we all wore feathers is what they said. We all did. And so going back into sustainability really means a progression of being human again, living organically, living as a, as a, as a real human being to be sustainable and to live among what we call as Pachamama, or in our language, Ilankilu, as part of the earth. Not against it, but with it. So it may seem sort of romantic, and I don't want to romanticize indigeneity or indigenous people, but the fact still remains that if we don't start making changes, things are gonna get worse. This is the opportunity to step up and actually make some sort of change in our lives and our daily habits. I've done enough talking, I want to give this mic over back over to these young people who are really the, the ones who are going to make the change for the, the next seven generations. Thank you. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Irving and uh, I'm a great promoter. Uh, being a great
promoter consists of being really dedicated to receiving new information about what is going on in the environment and being able to teach others how to live a better life. Um, this group was really not even a group back in 2007. This started back with uh, a person named Charles McClash, which unfortunately passed away. He is the one that started with the idea of reducing the amount of plastic bags that we use. Um, after he passed away, we came up with the idea of keeping up his idea. But instead of just spreading the word to everybody, we try to practice it mainly on the Latinos in the canal community due to the fact that it was really bad in the canal um, compared to 2007 and 8 to now it's gotten a lot better the first cumbre or training that we had was in 2009 which consisted of 50 people now 50 people might not sound like a lot but it is a lot to start with the group consisted of six individuals which you can see outside of our booth are still here and four young adults, including myself and Betsy, which made a total of 10 people. Out of these 10 people, as David said, we have spread all over East Palo Alto, Pittsburgh, Novato, West Marin, Marin City, Santa Rosa, and Napa. 10 people making a change. Our goal is to educate as many people as we can, especially the, community, the Latino community, about living a healthier lifestyle for the future of not just us, but our kids. We try and stick to the plan of educating people on living better um, with toxics, uh, recycling. We've, gone, we've done trainings, we've done a bunch of things, um, including trainings on how to reduce the amount of water and energy, just to name a couple of things. Thank you. Hi, my name is Betsy. Um, I'm also from a from a Torre Verde. I started kind of around the time that this whole process started, and I really like it because I get to teach my family who's not involved in this program, but they're learning of what I'm learning from David and the other promotores in our group. Um, we have been part of the Binational Health Week in Marin, in Sao Paulo, the clinic, for the past couple of years. We're always talking about how to keep clean in the house, use chemicals that are safer other than Clorox, any of those toxins in the house. We have also created this book that we're also going to try to expand and also make it in English because right now we only have it in Spanish. So we're going to try to make more of these. We're going to make a book also that we have for kids. It's another idea to also show the kids, like one of our teachers that came, she was interested in showing some of this to her students. So it would be a good idea to not just us teens, but also the younger generation other than us. So that's a little bit of what we do. Thank you. So again, we want to thank uh, Earth Day Moran and all the organizers for having invited us. And we look forward for next year for more bilingual or trilingual um, uh, information going out. And just a quick tidbit, um, I don't know if you knew, but Marin County has one of the largest uh, uh, Maya uh, indigenous uh, populations. San Francisco Bay Area, nearly eight to 10,000 here in Marin County. In California alone, there's about 80 to, uh, 70 to 80,000 uh, Oaxacan indigenous people, Lique, Chatino. So the next time you go to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's and, 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 and eat your, your greens, think about indigenous people. They're the ones who are actually picking the food right now uh, and, uh, and feeding us, not only California, but the world. Thank you.
you, David, Urban, and Betsy. It's so inspirational. And once again, how just a few people can make a powerful change in a community that's a critical underpinning for us here in Berlin. I think Hannah has some announcements. I do. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Vivian Verde. Yeah, very inspiring, exciting work happening there. Earth Day Miranda is looking forward to working with them more throughout the year.